So something I haven't said yet, even though I've recorded several parts for this, is I think the important thing to note between this game, the difference between 1 and 2 and 2 and 3, and why I think 3 is the weaker game for it, is that while they add stuff in 3, it tends to feel a lot more gimmicky. Uh, you know? Oh, okay, even more hacks trash. Look at this. Oh good, I got two. Oh, this shit's gonna be horrible, holy fuck. Like, yeah, it felt a lot more gimmicky in... I don't know what I'm doing, I just ignored rings. <laughs> this up fly is not as good anymore. Oh wow, I am just fucking trash at this. Yeah, we're not doing this, fuck this. <laughs> we'll do it later. I'm tired right now. Uh, yeah. You do. Know, it feels like the things they added for this game gave the games a lot more stuff and a lot more playtime and a lot more things for you to be doing. And it really needed that. You know? Whereas in Spyro 3, it felt like it was padding for time a lot more than it was just, you know, adding good content. Like, you know what I mean? Hey man, here's a fucking platforming level. Psych, 90% of it's a skateboarding minigame. Like, why? Because collect fucking orbs, I don't, I don't even care. And you're like, how's this helping? Okay, that's just a dick move. Say no more. Oh, the crabs. What about them? At some point, there's like these weird super crabs, and you have to have a submarine. I'm not even making it up. Aqua sheep. That ignore my horn attack. Fuck you, aqua sheep. Hey, aqua sheep. Why they would even let these things into their, like, spaces and steal their water and shit, like, I don't really...
thinking of, I thought it was mechanical like lobsters, but I think it's mechanical sharks actually. Oh. Oh. There was some good stuff in Sparrow 3 though, we'll see it when we get there. I just really didn't like a lot of it and started to get like tired of the franchise by then and I think we all did. Getting a bit like, yeah, we get it, dragon. Oh fuck you too. You want to progress in this level. have to go back through here because you can see there's jams, those sharks will wreck your ship and there's a lot of them. But you can see it's like you need to have the uh, a power up to deal with them. Oh they just forced me down there, I didn't control that bit. Wah. How are you living outside of the water, to be honest? Shell. Don't play hard to get cheapy. It's like, yeah, if you still says 14, it said 14 earlier. Oh, I need 14. I thought it was counting down. So I need to go kill something else. What? I gotta see what happens if I go down here. Is it get wrecked by sharks? Uh, because we need this superpower to uh, deal with the sharks. Again, a lot of like going around around the same level. So let's see where is this? I must have missed an enemy. Oh, I missed a few. 
literally can't progress until you've destroyed everything. Destroy everything. Don't kill me. The thing is, oh, there was one there the whole time. The thing is, the archway is a long way away from. Oh. Huh? Sharks here. There's sharks everywhere. Ooh. Seriously, what the fuck? Where do I go? works on the water to shut up fuck you super flame except I can't fucking steer let's try again controls man feel so watery <laughs> So basically, in the demo version of this game, and I'm not sure if it was in the, the, it might have been in the PAL version of this game, it was not a little blue thing like this. It was this horrible floating asterisk that span round and round and round in a direction like a snowflake. And I used to get really confused why it was like that. And it was just that it was like either a placeholder or it was just really poorly animated back in the day. The underwater flame breath. Ah, uh, let me go back in your thing. Yeah, don't make me pay again. <coughs> I'm gonna see if there's an archway the other side that makes this easier. Because it feels like that's too far away for me to get all of these guys. Uh oh, it's up here. I think this is faster, yeah. Oh, I say faster, but like, there's gotta be another archway. That's bullshit. It's bullshit. So when can dragons swim anyway? I'm hitting a lot of fuck it feelings lately, haven't I? Where I'm just like, nah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. The important thing is we get the talisman. Uh, 
many days off they give me? I'm like, ah, fucking gonna work again. So, yeah. God damn it. So, no talisman on the speedway, so I don't even have to do it if I don't wanna. But I do need to do the boss if I do wanna. But the hell it goes. Maybe I'm missing. I mean, we'll find out sooner or later. Oh. Oh, no, that's. Let's find the boss area. It's like. All these doors in the summer forest, man. I'm surprised I haven't got the ladder climb ability yet, but. Maybe that's World 2 and I have to come back. Oh, shut up, Ocean Speedway. Oh. I'm smart. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah. Found it with my brain. Still can't find the boss area though. <laughs> Just kind of there. There you are. She reminds me of a character like her dress. Kinda looks like the dress from the fairy chicken fern gully wall, something like that. So we throw ourselves down a well. Hunter was born in 1975, man. So Hunter's for... So Hunter invented Space Hitler. This freezer motherfucker. It's a fucking button! Can none of you... Ah, oh, it makes... Yeah, so what I was complaining about the orbs... It's funny, because Gulp and Crush are dumbasses, and he's annoying and nasty. They spelled despicable wrong. Everyone look back, despicable was spelled wrong. So they actually give you a load of explanation as to what happened, but yeah, it's kind of Hunter's fault. I've forgotten how you deal with this guy. Oh, I think I get it. You got him between. Yeah. 
Also, it's never explained why Ripto hates dragons. He just hates dragons because the plot needs him to hate dragons. His origins, I want to know what Ripto is. Like, he's a weird dinosaur thing. We made him a lot spikier this time as well. Wow. Oh. Why is well in his portrait in the bottom left corner does he look like some sort of 80s claymation like fighting game character? Or like some some Killer Instinct reject from the the original Killer Instinct game as art. That like, it looks really poorly rendered in comparison to the rest of the game again. You notice there are some corners that I've been noting throughout the playthroughs. That it's just like there's some corners that are a little bit cut, and you know I'm noticing them, and it's not like oh well, ow. it's not like it matters that much, so it's fine. <laughs> now, this one's pretty like. Now this boss battle's not too difficult because he's just doing these things again and again. And you just gotta get him in between. Whoa. This place will become your grave. <laughs> I killed your friend in front of you. I preferred his old design where he's a little less eyebrow-y and angular. Now I'm a bit like, oh. You know. Love how they have them ready for when they go with it. So yeah, I just killed his best friend in front of him. And he was just like, damn it, that fucking dumbass, I knew he'd die like this. Same way Caesar died. Cheesa! <laughs> oh god, he died just like Cheesa died. <laughs> oh no! A real villain. Who's he even talking to? Oh no, his monocle. When will monocles come back? Also, why is he just showing up with his flags <laughs> ready made? And they're just like, shit, put the flags up. Like, don't they have any defense force? Who's in government at these places? So this is called Autumn Plains. Not Fall Plains. I can't handle Fall. Fall! Because the leaves fall down! <laughs> Sorry. Gotta make it easy for people to understand. I'm surprised they didn't change Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in America to one day, two day, three day. Because <laughs> that's the same level of renaming a season. 
And if you're talking about a racing of a cultures from your lexicon, yeah. Perhaps Americans don't know that they're named after the days are named after life. Perhaps they don't know. They don't know the names. Because, you know, they're so Christian, I'm surprised they're fine with Thursday, you know? Balls Day, that heathen god. You know? The majority of fucking white Americans are obsessed with freaking Christ. Breeze Harbor, let's stop talking about religion and how much I hate, like, specifically this thing. Um because I think it symbolizes everything wrong with society. And it's literally, the, the whole story is, look, tyrannical regimes, we should listen to them. Almighty beings, Ooh, we can go back if you want. Rich man, rich man, buy me house. How small? That that was. So he basically taught us: if you stand near it and jump at it, and look, he's not even climbing onto it. This is the thing, right? He, he had to teach us this, and it's like, don't you think that most people would see a fucking ladder and try that first without having to pay for it? Oh, god damn it. That's what's so frustrating about some of these uh, level ups. <laughs> you know, we gave you a new skill. It's fuck you. <laughs> no, you have to pay for it. Speaking of having to pay for it, actually I didn't have to pay. Uh, I'd already paid for it for Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I got the Ultimate Edition, and I didn't really know what that meant. They said eight extra characters, and I was like, "Cool!" Sounds like a boss scorch. They didn't scorch that black dragon with the silver scales. Oh, that's gonna do my nut in. So I won't play that level right now. Fracture Hills. Hey, I vaguely remember Fracture Hills. Oh, I remember Fracture Hills. Oh, that used to drive my like, my entire family up the goddamn wall. Because it has these guys that play the bagpipes and they play the same tune again and again in the original and it'd be like <laughs> and it, every time. How does that make sense? sense. Yeah, and it, they always played the same thing, and you released them, like, as many as the ones in that, um, where there was those little green men in the first level we did, and every time they broke things free, they'd be like, nee, nee, nee. and just like, oh my god, same bagpipe tune every time. Why not? Why don't you look in the vase next to you? Too rich, I assume. Oh, floating rocks. Oh, this is gonna be... I think I know more about this one. Oh yeah, I love Shady Oasis. Man, this is... This world's my jam. More than Summer Forest is. So yeah, DB Fighter Z's. Uh, yeah. Look, literally, he's just standing by Paul, turning them off and charging me to turn them back on now. Look at this shit. Look at this shit right here. It. It's not worth a hundred gems for me. <laughs> not right now. We'll do it later. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. 
Anyway, uh, DB Fighter Z, I bought the Ultimate Edition, and that gives me, uh, like, the first fighter pass, and I didn't realize that that was so many characters. I was like, holy shit, this game has to ship with no characters at all. What the hell, man? That's such a low amount of characters. I feel like that's... Oh yeah, I remember this one. Um, I feel like that's kind of bullshit, you know? Oh, man. Like, what, you're telling me, like, Piccolo and Yamcha were, like, the first pass? Holy shit, that's dumb. And I was really sat there, like, Oh, okay, then fine, I guess I'll go around. And then I was just looking at the DLC to see how much each character cost and what characters there even were and how much the fighter passes cost for future reference, right? Just because I was like, oh, you know, that, that might be a laugh later. And then it said, all of these ones are free. And I was like, they were? And I realized I paid for the Ultimate Edition it hadn't downloaded all the characters straight away for free. I had to go and download them again, individually, character per character. But they were free, and it would just not even download anything. I click a button on each character and say, purchasing. You now have DBS, DBZ Broly. Seriously, you're fucking everywhere, man. We're not even seeing really much of Laura and Hunter right now. We're literally just seeing him. So Skelos Badlands is pretty cool. We've got Crystal Glacier, which I'm pretty sure is hard. Uh, you see how many levels there are. They're just everywhere for this now. They really put a lot of stuff in here. I'm now manically trying to think, is there one called Spring or is there just three? seasoned lands like you know summer autumn plains and um winter tundra so i'm trying to remember what the spring world was and i'm just like drawing a blank this was in the demo there's a flying cat Troll. Oh shit, it's already half. Okay, this will be the last one, but it's gonna be a while this one. Ah, oh, good for you. I remember those flying cats. magma balls to kill those things up in the fire demon. Or not. Yeah, I like, there's a lot of levels on this area that I really like. And you see there's a lot of levels and it makes me think maybe there's just not, um, oh, they explode on death. So no, uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, lot of levels in this world, and it makes you sit and think. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, this is horrible. This one um, makes you sit and think. Oh, okay. Maybe there are only three worlds then. Maybe. I don't know. Ah. <sighs> Oh, my neck. I should put my travel pillow on. 
working out too much. Here. Oh yeah, I remember these guys. These guys are the problem. <coughs> Shooting them with the things. So they stole some bones for some skeleton dude. <coughs> Someone skelly bro. Hey look, it's like the firework ones again. Wow. Better auto targeting. And <clears throat> before you'd have to like manually each and every time go into look and like, you know, because otherwise it just wouldn't hit shit and it made it very difficult not to get keep tanking hits for no reason. <clears throat> hmm. oh. Yeah, so I got I got downloaded like pretty much another third of the roster for Dragon Ball Fighter Z recently and was playing around with like all these really interesting characters and really getting out just the bland generic <clears throat> mean cast and really trying some other shit and I just tried a load of shit that like a load of characters that I would normally not really care about. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed DBZ Broly. <clears throat> I really enjoyed playing Vegito. Um, who else was I playing? Android 17 was fun, and it made me pick up the other androids, and I found Android 16 was also very good fun, very fast pro character. Just can do a lot of cool shit. Uh, who else? I really want to get DBS Broly. But I'm still getting through what I downloaded. Um, I tried Beerus. I already had him down uh, unlocked, but I tried him, and it was fun. See, his bone friend is dead. God, who else was in that thing though? I got. <clears throat> hmm, who else did I get? I just can't remember, you know. Yeah, there was quite a few though. There was, uh. I just downloaded all of them because it's like, well, I paid for them, although it was on sale, I did pay for it. Oh, this thing. Yeah, I remember this thing. We'll get back to that. That makes you immune to lava, that one, so we need to get that. Uh, see, I wasn't even facing the right way for that one. Uh, who else? Who the fuck? Ah. Uh, who the fuck else was in that patch, man? Oh, yeah, I say patch. Lava dragon. over here now. I forgot about that. Oh man, that's gonna do my nut in. <clears throat> no, oh, uh, Beast Vegeta and Beast Goku, they're both very good fun actually. Uh, really good fun. Surprised they aren't in the base game. Because, <laughs> you know, Beast Vegeta, Beast Goku. But it's like, uh, I also paid like a couple of dollars to get uh, the uh, Blue, all the official Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Uh, I got that. 
Man. I got Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta. Uh, I want to get Gogeta because I got Vegito, and that was a good, that was a fun character. And I refuse to play Gotenks because I hate children characters. Uh, I try to play Kid Gohan, and I just really didn't enjoy that experience. So I was like, oh, he's got some stuff. Just never really cared about that character very much. So you know. Just basically still doing the I like the character, so I'm gonna play as him thing. Wow. Oh, it's over there now. It's at the beginning of the level. You see what I mean about just making you go back and forth and back and forth just controls. Just say, like, oh. I guess some lizards now. So he, you gotta stop his kids being eaten by Velociraptors, that guy. The first one's okay, but then it gets really hard after that. So we'll do one of those. Uh, yeah, some pretty good characters. Who the fuck else? Jesus, there was, there's some on the villain side, some of the, some of them on the, like, so we had Beast Vegeta. Who the fuck else did we have? How do I get up there? I have to fly across, don't I? Ah. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. Let's see, maybe we'll finish the lava toads first, just, just get that out of the way, you know. I've already forgotten how many lava toads we got, but we got a lot of them. Who was it? So yeah, I really don't like playing against or with the kid characters. I don't like Gotenks. I don't like any of the boos just because they're characters I don't care about, right? And they're really annoying and I'm just like, I don't care if they're even good or high tier. Like, fuck that character. I don't care about them. And, you know, maybe that's a bit immature of me. I don't really know or care. All I know is I'm not really in for that stuff. You know, I'm not playing the game to become elite at the scene, you know. This is Stone Age. Why do they have metal vases and woven baskets? Also, you notice that now money bags exist. You have a reason to be collecting the gems aside from collect all the gems because fuck you. <laughs> you know, like, and you just have a big number in the corner and it's like, what's the point? Not Velociraptors. Didn't tell you the difficulty of this one. Now, oh, oh shit. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's cooler. How can I forget cooler? No, I don't want to. No, no, no want to. 
No. I want to get the lava lizard, lava toad, whatever. Or lava something. Oh, fuck you too. Heh <laughs> heh. Hey, where'd the bone go? Give me the bone. Still two? Where? Did I get all of the ones up on the lava? Wait, 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 what? Oh. Well, that would help. Everything in here is just that cavern. Yeah, cooler is really good farm. He has a lot of cool. Haha, <laughs> cool. Yeah, I did get him. Begs the question where's the last one? Probably not over here, but whatever. Not over here. Oh, he's up there. Okay. Bing, bing, bing. Real nice to have one of those speedy things right now. Yeah, so I was having fun uh, with that. Cooler is really good fun. Loads of awesome dive move, dive kicking moves and shit. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Uh, what? So I've been doing a lot of cooler. Uh, well, not a lot of cooler. A lot of Vegito, Super Saiyan Blue, uh, Vegeta. Uh, trying those stuffs out. Broly, I mentioned DBZ Broly. Oh, where would you put it there? Ah! Oh. Did I just want it? Just give me. No, it did it again. It's fucking bullshit. He, some, you're supposed to hover and he just drops. It's fucking bullshit. I just shot that at him. He did it again! Dead. Killed. Because it won't listen to me. Yeah, I've been trying lots of different characters. I tried Android 18, Android 16, Beerus, Hit. Been doing a lot more Hit. So I thought, wow, I'm going to try Hit. Uh, he's hard, but he's interesting. A lot of different stuff. Did I press the action button correctly? Oh, you... No, that's deliberate. That's fucking deliberate. I fucking hacks. I call hacks. Hacks. Why is it not letting me have this? Let me fucking have it. The shit, man. Doing it fine for all of these, and I just oh, I did it again. Fine, I'll hold your goddamn hand. Still tried to kill me. Still tried to fucking kill me. It did. It killed me. I'm so mad. You can't have triangle mean float a little high in the air and also mean 
drop to your death. What the shit, man? Yeah, we're gonna fucking Skyrim up this shit. Yeah! Fuck you. Stupid lava toad. Wanna go home? Oh god, he flosses in those Vuvuzelas now. He used to do a different dance. They ruined the dance. Fucking flosses. Okay, LP over. Fucking, oh my god. Selling the game. I want a refund. The skeleton flosses. He doesn't do the bone dance. The fucking bone dance. Yeah, we got quite a lot from this level. We got enough. I got enough from this. I don't want to stop, but I, I've got to stop. I'm in control. I'm not addicted, I can quit any time that I want. I know. Yeah. Why do they have a camcorder? Why is the camcorder so 90s? This is how Gen Z thinks it was in the 90s. Colorized. First reenact. Colorized reenactment. First jackass recording. Oh, I've run really late for this one. Yeah, the amount of levels, uh, like, in this game, just... I was talking to some people who were like, wow, that LP of Spyro was really... We put the orbs up there. I've never noticed that before. I've been getting orbs. Uh, the amount of levels, like, the amount, it's just crazy. And, and the fact that, like, it makes you go back to certain levels, and there's, like, stuff, there's orbs, there's, like, gems. No more dragons to release, but whatever, like. And there's just so much stuff to do, it just makes you go, like, what the hell, <laughs> like, you know, in comparison, like, everyone was saying who was watching my first Spyro LP, wow, that was just over so quickly, and I was like, well, the full game time of what I was doing, right, and it times you, I don't know if this one does, yeah, game time in the corner there, for that one, oh, Scorch was a desert one, I don't remember now. Um, yeah, what was I saying, um, focus, focus, <laughs> uh, ADHD, no, focus, squirrel, ah, uh, uh, sorry, I'm being addicted to people with ADHD now, uh, yeah, uh, still distracted, holy shit, um, what was I talking about, yeah, no, it was over in less than six hours, but the LP, and then I went back, and it took me half an hour to 100% what I missed in the first three levels of Spyro 1. And you saw at the beginning of this LP, I was at like 93%. And I was like, oh, you know, uh, that'll do, I don't really give a shit. Like, because I don't want to do the rest, but like, it's just 7 more percent than I would have been in the game. Oh, it's in the forest. I see there's another one here, but there's no space anywhere else. I think there's any free worlds. Yeah, like the madness, <laughs> the madness that is um, uh, that is uh, sorry, I was looking at floating rocks. <laughs> sorry, I'm so out of it. Uh, 
These are going to be fun. I can't wait to do them. Yeah, uh, it's just so much shorter, the first game. The second game is going to take me forever. If I wanted to 100% it, which I'm probably not going to do. Ooh. Ooh. I used to remember there's a secret bit on the outside of these, like, orbs I can get and all sorts of shit, but I can't remember how to get up there. Yeah, it's going to take much longer to 100% this, and uh, even get through it, I think. Oh, the fact that there's only three bosses should also give, a, give away the fact that there's... Yeah, <laughs> should have thought that through. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'll just finish the LP here for now. Uh... Wait, are those gems? Are they frogs? Oh, and that's Zephyr. I can't remember Zephyr, but the name rings a bell. And not just because of the Chili Peppers song. It has? Okay, we'll do this first. Oh! There's... Metro Speedway. And then there's a speedway that that greedy capitalist fat cat's standing by. Why did he choose bear? Bear market? I don't know. Oh, you don't need to say that every time. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Uh, yeah, can't think of anything else. Lost my train of thought. Ending LP. Uh, this is going to take a while. This world, I think, I want to say like the majority, and there's such a wide variety was all, uh, also what I was going to say. You got like Lava Land. You got a glacier. You got a harbor with pelicans. You got Scorch, which is a, which is a desert. Shady Oasis, which is pretty cool and brings back the kind of, pretty sure it brings back the FIFA 2 speedways. It does make me think that they were ready for like an extra world but ran out of time. This one, Zephyr. Then there's a uh, few others over there too, I've completely forgotten. Oh, Fracture Hills. You can't forget Fracture Hills. Next LP, I promise you, we will do Fracture Hills, Shady Oasis, and maybe Scorch or something like that. I also want to do Breeze Harbor, so like... They mount though, they mount on levels! the hell? Like, you think just Summer Forest had only a few? This has like 10. Also, it doesn't show me. Uh, okay, I shut up now. Used to be a book. This guidebook is a literal book with pages moved. Zero percent. Anyway. Time to finish.